video 1.5 why use mqtt over other protocols in this video we will cover the following topics comparing mqtt with http comparing mqtt with amqp and xmpp how coap compares with mqtt by now you will have an overall idea of why mqtt was invented how it evolved and how it works you will also have an idea of the special features of mqtt but you might still not be convinced why you should choose mqtt over other protocols especially for iot applications thus in this video we will compare mqtt with other popular application layer protocols to understand why mqtt is such a good fit for iot applications let's first examine why other popular protocols failed in iot the most popular and widely used protocol is http most developers are already familiar with http so why not just have iot devices use http it would be much easier right and we don't have to worry about interoperability the problem lies with its request response pattern of communication http is a synchronous protocol which means that the client waits for the server to respond as iot involves a large number of devices in usually unreliable networks Synchronous communication protocols like HTTP are not ideal. Moreover, MQTT allows the persistent connections that can save significant resources over HTTP. This is most relevant if you are using any encryption as the persistence of connections means that you don't have to recent authentication keys again and again. On top of security, MQTT offers a very simple way of implementing encryption, authentication and access control due to the presence of a broker. Furthermore HTTP doesn't offer any quality of service levels MQTT on the other hand provides three quality of service levels ensuring that data is sent reliably It's especially useful as MQTT is used in situations where your connection may be intermittent or otherwise unreliable The real advantage of MQTT over HTTP occurs due to the ability to reuse a single connection to send multiple messages All this is thanks to the client decoupling nature of an MQTT network. Another close contender to MQTT is an asynchronous protocol called AMQP, but this is specifically used in high performance computation with reliability and interoperability in enterprise applications. It has a rich feature set, but it is not suitable for resource constrained IoT applications. Besides AMQP, there are other popular messaging protocols. For example the XMPP is a peer to peer instant messaging protocol it is heavy on features that supports instant messaging use cases such as presence and media attachments compared with MQTT it requires much more resources both on device and on the network thus the main advantage of MQTT is due to its publish subscribe model another close contender to MQTT is coap in fact coap is already used in many iot applications Constraint application protocol also known as coap is a client server protocol that unlike mqtt is not yet standardized with coap a client node can command another server node by sending a coap packet the coap server will interpret it then extract the payload and finally decide what to do depending on its logic the server does not have to acknowledge the request unlike mqtt which has been adapted to iot needs from a decade old protocol Coap was built from the ground up to support IoT with its lightweight messaging for constrained devices operating in a constrained environment. Coap is designed to interoperate with HTTP through simple proxies, making it natively compatible with the internet. This interoperability is one of the most important features of Coap, but it has many disadvantages compared to MQTT. For example, Coap runs over user datagram protocol. which is inherently and intentionally less reliable than tcp it depends on repetitive messaging for reliability instead of consistent connections coap was built on udp to enable faster wake up and transmit cycles as coap was meant for devices that sleep for longer periods of time to conserve battery thus battery consumption and computation overhead were prioritized more than the reliability of the message in coap The Squap is best suited for specific applications rather than large scale general IoT implementation. Moreover, MQTT being a more mature and scalable standard, it's easier for developers to get an MQTT network up and running very quickly than a similar network using Squap. Summary: In this video, we have covered the following topics: comparing MQTT with HTTP, 
Comparing MQTT with AMQP and XMPP, how COAP compares with MQTT? Section Summary In this section, we have learned the following topics. Introduction to the course, MQ Telemetry Transport, the origin story, how does MQTT work, overview of MQTT methods, models and features, why use MQTT over other protocols. In the next section, we will learn about different types of MQTT packets and set up our first MQTT project.